What's up, people? Today, I actually wanted to go over a case that I've previously done for one specific reason. It's the simple fact that police are using the call as a byproduct of obtaining some type of probable cause, which is absolute BS. The case I'm going to review, again, is Florida v. JL529. US 266-2000. Basically, requirement of a tip to be reliable in this assertion of illegality, not merely the identification of a person. The requirement of a tip to be reliable in this assertion of illegality, not merely its identification of someone. The reason why that is important is the fact that they say, oh, I'm here because of a call. The question that needs to be asked next is, did that call state illegal activity? And again, any follow-up that ends with, I don't know from a police officer who is a law enforcement officer, knows the fact that it has to be some type of illegal activity being called about in regards to stating anything that may be used as probable cause. I'm going to go further into it later, but I wanted to re-edify that and merely state, understanding the call itself, yes, it's a reason for coming there, but the question needs to be asked, was there any assertion of illegality or criminal activity or a crime or anything illegal? And that's generally going to be no. So be on your way. Until next time.